Hello, today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks to help you solve uh, Futu Shiki number puzzles. And uh, so I've got uh, two pages here of uh, different sort of tips and tricks that I'm going to work through and I'm going to play a game of uh, Futu Shiki over here on my uh, on my tablet, and I'm guessing that uh, that says in Japanese that says Futu Shiki in in Japanese. So um, so when you uh, play, then I guess if you're starting off, you might just want to do a, a four by four grid, which is going to be a little bit simpler and sort of get you into the um, into the swing of of the game. But today I'm going to play a five by five grid, and I'm going to play number six. And if we just go through the rules, it's only just a few rules to remember. So the numbers one to a five must appear in each row, but they're in uh, you know various d different orders. Um, and also the numbers one to five must appear in each column, but um, you know they can be in any order as well, similar in a way to uh, to Sudoku. Um, and uh, and also then they have these in Futushiki, um, they have these greater than or less than arrows that are um, included. So you can see there with those arrows between the, the cells, um, that just means that, uh, well, that one's three, that one has to be greater than three, um, and that cell must be greater than the cell uh, to the left of it left of it as well and remember with uh, with this uh, puzzle the Futushiki puzzle that you can use logic to solve all puzzles there's no need to guess so um, so the first uh, tip I've got here just look for rows or columns that are missing just one number um, there so obviously with this one you'd be if that was your row then you'd be putting a three in there to uh, finish off that row but there's only just uh, three numbers in this puzzle to to start with so there's no um, there's no obvious uh, missing answers in this puzzle to begin with um, and there's a rule here for the um, obviously for the uh, for these greater than or less than uh, symbols depending on which way you look at them that the left hand cell can never be one you can never have one is greater than well have to be greater than zero and obviously the numbers in this uh, grid only go from one to five so that so that can never be that can never be one is greater than something else and the same with the five five can never be less than something else now five can never be in that cell there because five can never be less than well uh, you know, there's no other number between 1 and 5 that's less than 5. So, um, yeah, 5 can't be in that less than um, cell. So, uh, so a good way to start then, if there's nothing obvious, is to work through these um, uh, greater than or less than um, symbols and sort of see what you've got. And obviously, if you look up here then, then the smallest, uh, or the number there is 3, and that's going to be less than a certain number there, and that certain number is going to be less than the number there in that uh, third cell. So obviously that's got to be 4, and that one's got to be 5, because um, 3 is less than 4, and 4 is less than 5, and there's no no numbers that's higher than 5 in this uh in this uh, five by five grid. So we've solved uh, two cells to begin with. So it's just a matter of then of just keep working through this uh, puzzle and uh, looking for other cells that, um, that you can solve. So if we think about this row up here, this uh, second row there, if you think of um, that cell there, that cell can never be five because it's in the less than section, so that can never be five. And that cell there, that cell there also can't be five because it's in the less than, because that means that would have to be six or more. And if that was five, that would have to be six or more, which is just not possible in this uh, five by five grid. And then we think about it in this column then, that cell there can't be uh, five because we've already got a five in that column. And that cell there can't be five because we've already got a five in that column. That can't be five, that can't be five. So that one there must be five. So we've just solved another number. And now we look down here at the, at the bottom row then. You can see three's uh, already there. And uh, that column doesn't let uh, that column always already has a five. That column there already has a five. That column there already has a five. So that's the only remaining cell um, that uh, that can possibly be a five in 
that row. And once you've got uh, four fives on the grid then, once you've got all four of any number, then you can always solve uh, solve the uh, the fifth one because if you think about it then, um, you know, if you look at those uh, four rows, they can't be, they can't have a five in it and those four columns can't have a five in it. So it must be that cell there that's the only one left, left that can be a five. So once you've got four of any number, then you could always solve a um, solve uh, you know find the fifth number um, in this uh, five by five puzzle. So we're going going reasonably well. We've got five uh, all the fives out, two threes and a four. And what's good now is actually to put in um, if you don't um, those two cells there. We know they're going to be one or two. We're not sure what order. So you can just put as a as sort of a note one and two so that gives you a clue that when you're solving it that that's got to be a one or a two and that makes it a little bit easier when you're um when you're trying to solve it now the next cell to have a look at is this one here um, and it can't be a four and it can't be a five and then it's going to be greater than that cell and greater than that cell so that the only number that that can be is a three because that's got to be either a one or a two, and that's got to be there. It's got to be a one or a two, and three can't be four, and it can't be five. So we'll put in the one and two there as notes, and um, and that um, just to show us that we know that's going to be one or a two, and that'll help us uh, solve uh, solve those cells down the track. And once you've got, um, you can see there in that row that uh, you're just missing. You're just missing one number, which is in that cell there. And that's, um, you know, that's really good because then that obviously, you know, you've already got, you know, it's going to be one and two somewhere there, three and four, you've already got solved. So the only number missing then is going to be four. So you've solved that cell as a, as a four then for that one. So that's, um, that's uh, just sort of slowly but surely we're solving all the cells. And we think about this uh, cell down here, it's another one of these greater than. It obviously can't be a three because a three already in that row and there's a four and the five in the column. So the only other cells that, that could be is either a one or a two, but that's a greater than. So we know that from that rule, the um, the left, uh, that can't be a one because that'd have to be a zero. So the only number left for that cell there is a two. So I'll put a two in there. And because we've made those notes up the top already, we know because that's already a two, that can't be a two, and that must be a one, and because that must be a one, then that up there must be a two. And so, yeah, we're sort of slowly but surely um, solving it. Because that's a two, then the only number that's less than a two must be a one. So we put one in there and four in there. And you can see here, because we've got those notes of one and two, because we've already got one in that column, then that must be a two, and then that must be a one. So you can see there, I've now solved, um, I've now solved, you know, more than half the numbers, and from now on, it, uh, this puzzle will uh, solve fairly quickly. So you can see in that column, the only missing number there is a two, so put the two in there, and because we've got a two in that row already, um, in that column, then that must be a two, and that must be a one in there as well. And we've got uh, four ones already in the grid, so we can put a one in there to, uh, to solve that one. And then the only number missing in that column is four. The only number missing in that row is three. And the only number missing in that column is four. And then the only number missing in the final cell is three. And we've solved the puzzle. Congratulations, you have passed this level. So there we go. You can you can uh, double check that if you like, but you can see that every row has the number one to five in it. Every column has the number one to five in it, and all these uh, greater than symbols have uh, have been obeyed as well. Um, so there we go. That's uh, that's Futu Shiki. Some tips and tricks to help you solve. Too shiki. I've only just got into this puzzle um, in the last few weeks, um, but I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, I think it's. I thought it was time to do a, a video and uh, show you what I've learnt. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.